about like a Z button and stuff, and I was uh, just not getting the movement totally right. So even in even in those situations, like we don't overcommit. Um, like you can still have a really good neutral game and bad tech skill. So not necessarily true, but tech skill will definitely help with punishes. All right, so. Easy VIP and Spivigans. Um, these two last played sometime in November or December, and Spivigans actually took the set. It was the last time Darwin was at a Thursday, uh, one of the last week's RPI was here. Do you think, uh, okay, I can't say this and not make it sound like shots fired, but do you think Do you think Darwin has gotten slightly worse, or you just think he hasn't improved at the rate that everybody else does? Because there are a lot of <coughs> players who he used to, like, four-stock, 2-0 handshake, that now can go even with him, or even possibly take sets off of him. Well, I'd say it's true that he hasn't improved as quickly as others have, um, but at the same time, like, he's improved, he's just also inconsistent. Like... He's done poorly at some Massachusetts locals, but then like he'll get out of Genesis pools. <laughs> right. Um, like it's just inconsistency. Meanwhile, uh, he does have the, the stock lead at least. Oh but, yeah. Um, yeah. There's no doubt in my mind that he can do this. Yeah, but Sivian's known for either same on and off tech skill really. Uh, sometimes he has good days. Uh, currently he's on a roll uh, after losing to you in winners. Um, yeah. And then that, bringing I think it back. Charged him up. <laughs> yeah, that's from, speaking from experience, I know that that's happened to me. Like, lose early, and then just go through losers the whole way. So if Spigen's, uh wins this, he's going to make it all the way to losers finals, uh, yeah, despite losing early. And uh, you also upset Darwin, easy yes. VIP. Well, I, I can't count it that much. He went for offstage Falcon Punch when it would have been game three. But he still got game one. Yeah, that's so you got the neutral. You would have had your counter pick. Yeah, I guess. So you beat both these guys today. How come you're not uh, still going? <laughs> uh, because I've lost control of my life. Oh. I don't know. I Fox just... lives. Oh, good job waiting for the yeah. spot dodge there. Okay, waited for the tech there too. But no, uh, no follow up afterward. So if he begins nearing before yeah. Darwin can land. Yeah, and uh. Darren jumping into dare at the end for that. That's the kind of thing that made me lose. Oh, that's the kind of thing <laughs> that I was scared of against well, Darwin. Yeah, that, that itself is an interesting punish because Spivigan super hard DI'd that up oh, air no. inward. That's unfortunate. So oh. easy game. Yeah, barely didn't make it back. So. Yeah, I think the problem is uh, if people have these genius strings. But then he'll have these moments of uh, really not good option selection, and he he some he sometimes struggles with uh, responding to somebody else's momentum. So if somebody is doing quite well, instead of disengaging the situation, he'll just like feed into it. So if you're gonna sit combo on him, it feels like you can just keep getting that combo. It almost feels like he wants you to continue the combo out of like disgust with himself for letting it start. I don't know if this sounds like it doesn't huh. make any sense, but. Uh I know there's some people that just kind of give up when, like, oh, I got hit, like, I, sh I really should have uh, not messed that up. Oh, he's just going to combo me to death anyway. And they kind of overestimate their opponents. Um, so. Punish me. Yeah, I know that, uh, like, there are some people that just get discouraged like that. Um, so it begins, like, if he misses a few combos or punishes, like, like uh, those, like the edge guard, for instance, like, it's something that can add up over time. But he took the stock quickly, so it's not going to be a big deal. Did you see that cute, like, was that a moonwalk? Um, moonwalk. Moonwalk I actually looked at you like for a moment yeah, I think when it was I was saying something. <laughs> oh, oh, that's not safe. Yeah. And you can get over the lasers. Especially without that side platform there. Uh, it, it's hard to do that on stages like Yoshi's. Um, but this stage makes it easy to punish as a, a fast character. Especially those fast fallers. Uh, but what Falco can do instead is he can actually shoot the first laser super high, uh, and it'll catch higher up, but it's not perfect. Like, you can get over that even. Oh, why, why Darwin could have faded around that, but yeah. uh, Stivigan still hit with a down smash, evening it up. He also could have SDI wall tactic, I think. Um, yeah, if you were closer, or you would have had to do like a super SDI to double. Three inputs. 
Is three inputs of SDI on one hit even like physiologically possible? Uh, I'd say it's very difficult. <laughs> um, two is probably doable sometimes because uh, there's some moves that have more hit lag than others. Um, and it's especially doable because if you consider how SDI works, it's actually every 90 degrees that your control stick changes. Um, so you could go upright and then downright and then upright and then downright. Um, so yeah, three is uh, reasonable, but really, really difficult. Like, you can kind of imagine that that would happen. Because you can so, describe it. So oh, I was thinking knee again. There's a phenomenon that I really see a lot, and it's something that oh, happens... can't finish. Used to happen to me more, but happened to me, it happens to me all the time. You get hit by a knee, and you're trying to run away from the knee because you know the knee's coming, and you don't want to get hit by the knee. So instead of DIing the knee well and living, you DI, knee, you DI the knee as if you're trying to run away from it, and then you go like entirely off the stage at 44% and die. Yeah. I refer to this as knee eye. Knee eye. Because you don't want to get hit by the knee, so you DI with the knee, trying to desperately run away from it. Well, a lot of time it's uh, it's totally fine. Oh, that's it. Okay, Darn's up 2-0. Yeah, Sivian's so had his moments during that game, but too many uh, drop punishes, too many dropped edge cards. And too many uh, too many opportunities for Darwin. He got a couple hard reads in there that suddenly led to kills. Yeah. Um, I'd like to see him switch up his shield pressure a little bit more. Like, Sivian's just kind of oh whales on shields rather than grabbing uh, as That's much. I haven't, or rather, I haven't noticed much grabbing. That was an extremely strong state. Game. That's Spiffy looking to try and answer. Yeah. Uh, but Darwin looking for uh, his first set with Vic for quite a while, too. They actually haven't played for a while. Um, so. Oh, yeah, he definitely wanted oh, that meteor. Darwin, way better at hack stashing than I am. Oh my gosh, you have got to be kidding me. Okay. Yeah, Spiffians could have covered it, though. I suppose uh, that's true, but still. I mean, you just gotta have to, uh, you have to remember it's there, it's an option. Like, there's no being surprised by Randall at a higher level. That was actually a really tight wavelength. That was probably a early on that. Not that one, but the one before that was probably invisible. <laughs> Don maybe thinking about shield poking there. Oh, yeah, up there would actually finish it there. Um, knee is a somewhat more difficult move to hit with. Like, you saw him overshoot it and it reversed. And it wasn't even a strong yeah, hit. Yeah, yeah, reverse weak knee. The most brutal edge guard. Oh, that was really, <laughs> really clean. Wait, wait, what? You hear to compensate? Uh, sorry about that, I got distracted. Uh, Darwin almost having enough tom time to combo after that stomp. Yeah. <laughs> and Sivigan's almost having enough time to combo. <laughs> yeah, I look away, have two words with uh, oh, Scott Sterling, and reads. suddenly... Well, I was going to say the tides have turned, but unfortunate DI and unfortunate opportunity for me. Darwin keeps uh, finding himself up on that platform, um, like trying to get away from Sivigan's. Last stock situation. This is Spiffy's tournament. On the brink. Yeah, and Darwin one stock away from money. Everyone likes money. Interesting fair option. It's a multi hit, so um like it continues to kinda mess up Darwin. I probably could have grabbed that near. Um so you has gotta watch his speed. Spiffy's pressure was really is really good right now. Oh, oh messed no. up the, the wave dash to grab the edge. Nobody likes to see that. And he gives the handshake.